Are we, are we you live? You can hear us now. We'll do it live. <laughs> Let's roll that back and start again, please. Guys, this is excellent. we are coming to you live now, now for realsies. Are. From New Egg Studios in Southern California, which, uh, funny enough, is in an office building. So today we were dealing with some firewall Networking issues, issues, hence starting a little bit later than usual. And now that we've got the audio figured out, this is New Egg now. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, and and actually totally uh, appropriate for mm -hmm. some of the products we're going to be talking about today. Some home <laughs> networking stuff, um, but of course, New Egg now. This is the show you want to tune into every week when it's up and running uh, to talk about tech, gaming, PC building, hardware deals, yeah. and deals that are probably already live on newegg.com/slash New Egg now. They might be. So if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, because we've got them all working now, you can go to newegg.com/slash New now to see all the great deals we're going to have today. Okay, so today, uh, as previously, previously mentioned, but mm -hmm. you couldn't hear, uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about ways to upgrade your home. So we're going to be joined by Zotac. They've got a, a, a really killer, the Magnus Z-Box PC, small form factor PC. Could be awesome for a dorm room, could be epic for a living room command center. Indeed. They're going to be here to talk about that. Then TP-Link will be here to solve all of our networking problems. Uh, which were apparently <laughs> uh, fixed by installing Battle.net, of all things. That helped oh. us get back up online. Yeah, video games saved us. By installing Battle.net, we realized what the issue was. So T thank you, Battle.net. Tell your parents, video games save lives. They do. They do. Uh, then for the second <laughs> half of the show today, Juan and I are going to show off a ton of really cool smart home gadgets. With I'm really, I'm really excited about yeah. that. That's like my new obsession. Um, and of course, they're all going to have special pricing today as a part of New Egg Now. So remember to visit newegg.com slash newegg now to follow along with all of today's deals before they expire. And as always, they are time uh, and they are time sensitive and supplies are limited. So we will be right back to kick things off with Zotac. Stay tuned. right to it. First up, we have these crazy small gaming boxes from Zotac. And here to talk about these wonderful little machines is Boo from Zotac. Thank you for hanging in there <laughs> with us through uh, some fun technical difficulties. Uh, doing it live, it's always a good time. And welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, just to jump right in, uh, can you tell us what you do at Zotac? I'm part of the uh, product marketing team, so I get to be able to look into and provide feedback on, on the market that we look into. And at the same time, uh, we have uh, input through the product developments of all these amazing products and to provide our feedback on it to make these products even more amazing. Excellent. So I mean, let, let's uh, jump in. What can you tell us about these boxes right here? So what we see here are our two Magnus lines of gaming mini PCs. So you see two small form factors, one a little bit bigger than the other. But I'll go into a little bit more details as to why it's a little bit bigger. Hopefully you guys will be uh, forgiving about it once you know about the insides about it. But these are powered by GeForce GTX, as well as the Intel Core quad-core processor. So these processors are 65-watt socketed CPUs. So they're using desktop-grade uh, hardware. Awesome. But I wanted to mention that they're even, even though they're using desktop hardware, the users are not going to be able to upgrade it. They're not going to have access to it. Okay. But they can upgrade the memory or the storage. Okay. Awesome. I believe yep. we have some footage yeah, of these guys up close, those. so everyone at home can take a look at those. And in the meantime, uh, what kind of graphics are in these? Yeah, you can expect a r full range of GeForce GTX 10 series inside, all the way from 1050 all the way up to 1080. So you can do oh, up nice. to four, four, uh, 4K gaming on it as well. And so, I, I mean, anytime we talk small form factor, I, I think one of the, the main uh, concerns that a lot of uh, consumers might have Talking about cooling, you know, mm -hmm. you've got a lot of horsepower going through a very small space. Um, I'm very familiar with your graphics cards. I'm currently running a Zotac in my workstation at home. Awesome. So I, I know you guys have a reputation for handling those kinds of concerns. 
Yeah, so we have over 100 engineers, you know, trying to figure out these things. And one of the things a lot of people have, you know, questions on is just, these are so small, you have such powerful hardware in there, that they're going to think it's going to run hot, it's going to run really noisy. But uh, our cooling inside, uh, they're, they're using uh, full copper contact heat sinks, oh, nice. uh, radio coolers for both the GPU and the CPU. So these are whisper quiet, they're going to run 24-7, cool to the touch. Whereas the bigger guy here, since it's housing, you know, one of the best hardware you can find on the market. It's mm -hmm. especially cooled with water cooling, which is something uh, you won't find on any other mini PC. Yeah, so that's, that's a water block in there. It's a water block in there. That's it's cool. one loop that's cooling both the CPU and the GPU at the same time. So you can expect very good cooling performance on this guy as well as amazing gaming performance. Very cool. So you mentioned gaming. Um, is Are these boxes something that you see competing with the console market since the small footprint would be perfect for an entertainment center? Uh, I guess you could say that. You can do a lot more than you could do with a console game. Of so course. you can play games of this. This is what th these were made and designed for, of course. Awesome. Yeah. You said he really wanted to say, like, no. <laughs> no, they don't, they don't compete with <laughs> they consoles. They don't compete because they're so much better. <laughs> <laughs> they run cooler. They're a lot smaller. Yeah. Uh, I feel Probably. like you're directing that at my old PlayStation 3 Slim, <laughs> which had a, like all the vents clogged up with dust and would kick on like a blast furnace. So that's very good for the winter. Keep you nice and warm. <laughs> oh, toasty. I'm sorry, I, could, I, I couldn't hear you over your PlayStation. <laughs> I'm cranking up the sound bar, trying to get over my console. Yeah, so these these are whisper quiet, but at the same time, these are just you know full performing desktop PCs as well. So you can do a lot more with them. So in addition to gaming, we're also looking at media center functionality. Definitely. So mm -hmm. these have two HDMI 2.0 ports, and these okay. are HDCP 2.2 certified. So if you can use these for streaming for Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime, you're able to, uh, to watch 4K on your TV oh, with nice. these mini PCs here. So not only that, is that these were designed to be uh, used in the living room. The power button's on the front. In the BIOS, you're able to disable the LED on the power button too if you wanted to. And also in the BIOS, uh, if you wanted to use these as your main media entertainment center, mm -hmm. you can use it as your Plex media server, or you can use it as your Kodi uh, entertainment media uh, entertainment uh, system, mm -hmm. where uh, we have this scheduled power on ability. Oh, cool. So once you hop into the BIOS, you're able to assign a day or just have it turn on every day at a certain time. So you're coming off work, you want to come home, watch an amazing movie from your amazing, I uh, guess, uh, movie collection, uh, the system will be powered on right when you get through the door. So you don't have to wait to power it on or walk to it manually and power it on. You can have it all automatically done. How luxurious. No, I, I really like that attention to putting design up front, like uh, ports and, and uh, HDMI ports up there too, especially things like uh, a couple weeks back we were talking about VR, like Microsoft's mm -hmm. mixed reality headsets. and how much of a pain it is. Like on my rig right now, it's like I've got to crawl under a desk and like mm -hmm. route a cable mm -hmm. and try and feed all this stuff out. And having that stuff right up front makes a huge difference. For a computer that could also be multi-purpose, like. It is. You know, like, uh, like I, I don't know, LAN parties are, I feel really old even just saying LAN parties. <laughs> Um, it's okay. People still get together with You just have computers. like the little wheelbarrow of my yeah. old AMD Thunderbird. <laughs> um, but being able to kind of like pop this in from another room or take it yeah. with you to another location and then easily being able to route cabling and stuff. I'm glad you brought that up. These are very small, very compact, mm. very portable, very travel friendly, and very uh, friendly on your back as well. So <laughs> this little guy is only about two to three pounds. This guy's about maybe 10 pounds. So wow, with a water cooling in there too. Yeah, yep. awesome. So you can do 4K at 60 hertz thanks to HDMI 2.0, or it has two additional display ports on there, so you can do gaming on a G-Sync monitor or a 144 hertz monitor. So you have a wide variety of options you can do with it. And it's also VR ready, like you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So you can do it with your uh, Oculus Rift, HC Vive, or Windows Mixed Reality. So on a very portable, powerful system. I love it. That's excellent. Well, and especially for today's show, since mm -hmm. we're upgrading the home, mm -hmm. it's smart home, we're going to be talking about other devices and kind of connect to networks and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, like the Magnus looks like, I, you know, you, you, you look at what you want to invest in for the brain mm -hmm. of your setup, for sure. your home setup. And yeah. so being able to monitor remote cameras, plug them into a TV, route these feeds, pull this up, and you know, like it, it'd be nice to have some kind of hardcore, you know, PC actually backing that up, I, I would be. I would yeah, be that's your that. PC command center. Love <laughs> it. Um, so moving off of the Magnus, for those who already have a build and are maybe just looking to upgrade to the latest and greatest GPU tech, what are some options you have for them? I've been noticing these beautiful video cards you have in front of you. Uh, and I think we also have some great looking footage of those, so everyone at home oh, can yeah, see them a little look. closer up. 
Um, let's check that footage out while you tell us about them, Boo. Yeah, so I want to talk about our full range of GeForce GTX 10 series graphics cards where we have a GPU for every build and we have a GPU for every gamer. So when choosing first thing you want to start off with is our want to make sure it's got good looks so and we have high full range all the way from 1050 Zotac's all the way line up of to 1080 Ti, where Zotac is the only one that has factors. a very Let's compact start with mini 1080 Ti graphics card. It may be small, but so don't be say fooled. Mini, it's still it's packing the same power and performance so as its total, brothers. It's only about the color neutral design with gunmetal gray accents look great in any build, and it's super so compact at just 8.3 inches. Compact mini ITX perfect system, for you small form but still not sacrifice on any of the performance. The Zotac Amp is bigger, but it still only takes up two slots. It's got powerful ice storm cooling and is factory overclocked out of the box to give you that extra performance. But of course, you want to use the standard. Next up is the fully featured Zotac Amp Extreme. Mm -hmm. which but is the fastest performing graphics bit more card out of the box. Oof. It's got an and insanely there we have high factory amp line here, so these are factory overclocked to give you that additional performance. And then we have our Amp Extreme. So this is our <laughs> flagship graphics card. It has everything that we have designed featured-wise and the kitchen sink. Uh, what makes this amazing in itself is that it has very, very amazing cooling performance. So mm -hmm. you can expect anywhere between 60s to maybe 80s, maybe even less than that. And uh, What's great about these guys here is that we factory overclocked um, the beep out of it. <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you, you for keeping our like the self sensor. That was that was well done there. <laughs> so you can't expect one of the fastest gaming performance out of the box. Like we overclocked it heavily from the factory, so that you don't have to. But at the same time, if you wanted to, there's still room for you to add additional power to it by overclocking it. Uh, you can use our Firestorm utility, and with that. You can overclock it using that software utility, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we've also embedded the spectral lighting uh, functionality in that Firestorm software as well, okay. as well, where you're able to customize the RGB lighting on the graphics card here. Well, it's definitely been something we've been talking about recently, too, where uh, we're, we're finally cresting over, I think, into an era where companies can do a good job of vetting the product for you, what the limits of its performance might be, as opposed to us always having to go through that dance of, let me tweak a clock rate, let me mm -hmm. tweak the memory speed, something like that. And it, it's nice, like, I think, that notion that someone's already taken a look at this for you, and you know that you could probably tweak it more if you want to, but at least out of the box, there's, a, there's already a consideration towards the high performance um, end user. Uh, speaking of high performance, we also have our Arctic Storm line, which I don't have here in front of me, mm -hmm. but our Arctic Storm line is pretty much uh, our water blocked graphics cards out of the oh, box. Okay and it's going to give you extreme cooling. Great. So what's unique about that our Arctic Storm, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very light even though it's water blocked, but it's also one of the few that has built-in uh, RGB lighting, what we call Spectra as well. Mm -hmm. So you're able to customize the colors. And speaking of Arctic Storm, right behind me, uh, we do have our 1080 Ti Arctic Storm Mini. Ooh. So this is a fully water blocked graphics card out of the box in the mini tiny form factor of only 8.3 inches that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. And only at Zotac. And compatible fittings with water cooling solutions. They don't have to worry about anything proprietary. That's right. It's using the standard G1 fourth fittings. So you'll okay. have a wide variety of compatible water block accessories where you can simply use it with your system. Or if you have an already existing water block system, you can slip, you just toss it right in. It'll be compatible right. with your existing water block accessories. Now, you've got a special sneak peek for us, though. Something, yeah. something that, I mean, like, we're all sort of ignoring, <laughs> like, the hotness right here. <laughs> we're talking about, it sort of made it the progression all the way to the end of the table. And this is, this is, this is new. This is a new initiative at Zotac and something that people can't even buy yet. It is. This, this is a first time exclusive. So, New Egg now has the first time opportunity to see yeah, this uh, fully fleshed. Zotac Gaming, Mac Beautiful. One desktop gaming PC. So this is going to be launching very soon, in early December. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is our black version. We're also going to have a white version as well. Great. But one of the things that makes our Mac One gaming PC so great and so amazing is simply the style. Uh, it's very aggressive, has a very aggressive stance, mm -hmm. but uh, like a lot of our designs, we try to make it very minimal, yeah. mm -hmm. not too overly designed. Yeah. And the second thing I wanted to talk about, as you can see here with the lighting, uh, we set it into cycle mode, so it can cycle through the various colors that can support. But with our Mac One Spectra utility that's pre-installed, and you can also check out Zotac.com website to download the latest version of it once it's available, you're able to change the color. You can customize the brightness. You can uh, also adjust the lighting modes as well. What makes our uh, lighting system unique is that it has 
an onboard chip so that once you customize the colors just the way you want it, mm -hmm. you're, it's going to remember it. So when you restart, when you shut down your system, once you power it right back on, it's going to come back right where it left off. Very nice. Very cool. Well, it looks beautiful. You guys did a great job with the design. It's really nice. It is. Um, and then also, you guys have a special eSports event coming up this weekend. Could you tell us about that? We do. So our upcoming event is our Zota Cup Masters Star... Sorry. Zota Cup Masters StarCraft Remastered. So we're going to have six qualifiers who went through our Zota Cup online qualifiers mm -hmm. from the Americas, uh, both from Latin America and Americas. And they're going to come here on Saturday. You guys can all tune in on our Zotac Cup Twitch channel at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And they're going to do the elimination round Saturday. And on Sunday, you guys can tune in on 12 p.m. Pacific time. So that's going to be at the grand finals. Mm -hmm. And the winners of this grand finals is going to have the opportunity to have to test their skills against three invitational players that we've invited from Korea, China, and Europe. And they're going to have an invitational show match for a, an additional prize match. Uh, so it's going to be in a very exciting match, very exciting, uh, I guess, game. And we're going to have four amazing StarCraft Remastered casters who is very renowned in the community. And just for those special who are tuning in, we have a very special giveaway that's going to be happening only on Saturday and Sunday. If you're watching the live stream, you're going to see these special promotion codes pop up. You're going to be able to enter those in into our campaign for additional bonus entries. So you can win up to 12 amazing prizes where the grand prize, you can actually win one of the official gaming systems of the StarCraft Remastered where the pros are playing on. And you're oh, doing wow. that here in Newegg Studios, yeah. right? Oh, yes, that is. That's correct. It's so going to awesome. be right here. We, we broke in the network for you today. So <laughs> we, we, we did all the troubleshooting. So that right, amazing. So we can now expect everyone's going to be working installed. by the time the event starts. Yeah, Battle, Battle Networks. Battle so <laughs> that's, we did it. Yeah, so and, and then you're going to invite me to come play too, because I can pull off literally like tens of operations per minute <laughs> in StarCraft. So I'm, I'm pretty good, is what I'm saying. The pros are going to be here, so free free, the challenge <laughs> called them out. <laughs> really, like, they're going to be like blindfolded with all of their mouse fingers tied behind their back and still beat me. Um, so that was uh, excellent stuff. We're, we're going to have to wrap it up right there so we can uh, get back into discounts, promotions. So uh, thank you so much for you. dropping by and sharing all of this cool gear with us. Uh, and thanks for having me. I know like uh, Saturday and Sunday is going to be an exciting day here down at Newegg, so definitely tune in for that. But we've got to talk about some deals. We sure do. All right, we've talked a lot about these insanely tiny Z-boxes, and we have a deep discount on one right now. You can get the Zotac Magnus Z-Box EN 1060 with an integrated GTX 1060. For two hundred and fifty dollars off for the rest of the day while supplies last, only on Newegg now. So uh, this Z box is a fully built system. It comes with RAM and SSD and a CPU along with the 1060 GPU. All you need is an operating system, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, and so for those of you who already have a mini PC and you're looking to upgrade, we've got you covered too. Uh, for the rest of the day, you can get sixty dollars off a Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 Mini. It's a three gigabyte card, VR ready, capable of driving your AAA games full HD, even, uh, despite being très petite. That's French for very petite. Uh, it's perfect for your small form factor gaming build, so you definitely want to check those out. Uh, coming up next, we've got TP-Link. We're going to go over some of the newest routers, some of their smart home tech, and for those of you interested in smartifying, mm -hmm. I think that needs to be the word of the show, is smartifying, smartifying your home. You're going to want to check that out. Okay, so you've got a computer to control your smart home,
but you're gonna need to be connected. If your modem isn't up to the job, none of this is going to work properly. Um, Juan, let's 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 play a little game that I think might be disastrous for both of us. Okay. How many I'm devices nervous. do you think you have connected to your home network on like an average day? On an average day, uh, okay, I've got. <laughs> No, hold on, hold on. Let's figure this out. I've got Chromecast. Uh -huh. The wife and I each have laptops. Uh, we are both running two phones each. Um, we've got a couple cameras. How many is a couple? Two. Uh, two. We've got two cameras. Okay. You're up to uh, nine. Sound bar. I would say we're probably at the limit of fifteen to seventeen devices. I was gonna say you've got your mainline. smartwatch as well. Oh, that's right. Okay, so no, and then we also have like a tablet, so we could probably put that up to twenty. <laughs> on just the Wi-Fi's, and that's before we even get into like our network connected printer, my NAS, yep. all mm -hmm. that other stuff too. Yeah, it's a yep. lot. I'm in the same boat, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But you know what, um, <laughs> what will help with that, luckily, to help with yep. fixing that, is uh, we have Michael from TP-Link to chat about some of their products and of course the, uh, the latest and greatest deals that we're gonna be promoting here on Newegg now. So welcome to the show, Michael. Thanks for having me, I appreciate yeah. being here today. So, uh, first off. Yep. What do you do with TP-Link? What's your job sure. title? How do you how do you get around? So I'm a product marketing manager. So what I do is I, I bring a lot of these cool products uh, that we have here on the table from networking and smart home into the U.S. market. So we've got a lot of products globally. We're a global company, and you know we, we want to make sure that we have the right products for our customers here at Newegg that are really going to fit their needs. Okay, and I, I think a lot of people, when they think of routers, they tend to think that all routers are the same, but clearly that is not the case, hence this beautiful lineup you have in front of you. <laughs> or people using um, that like modem router combo thing that they get from their provider. Totally. Yeah, yeah and, so what, what, in a general sense, sets these apart? Yeah, so first off, a lot of customers are still very complacent on not wanting to upgrade. They're all, they'll, they'll upgrade their computers or smartphones and tablets and things, uh, but they always forget about that network piece. And a lot of customers are still... Uh, taking uh, a look at wireless N, and that's maybe yeah. what they still use at home. And you know, that's where we, we start looking at um, you know, some of the products that we've been getting a lot of rewards and doing a great job. We have our Archer C7, uh, and this is you know, kind of like a great entry point for customers that are looking at um, high definition video, streaming, gaming, but getting into wireless AC for the first time. And yeah. you know, this standard's been out for a couple of years, and we want to make sure our, our new way customers are really taking advantage of the Wi-Fi connections inside of their home. Um, but when we start taking a look at what new things, and we were looking at how many devices we have at home now, and I've got you beat. I've got close to 40. So we're just talking about me and my wife as well. So we've got a lot of stuff that's going on. And you know, the more things we add on into our network, we've, we've now had newer technologies come out. So AC's been out for a couple of years now, yeah. about like 2013, 2012 timeframes, if you will. Uh, but now we've got next generation wireless AC. Yeah. So it's something that's called MooMimo. Have you heard of that before? MooMimo. Multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. All right. There then, you go. There we go. Great. Well, and I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. I, I, when AC launched, we go through this thing with Wi-Fi. Yeah. A new standard comes out, but we have a lot of companies that put out sort of their flavor of it before the standard actually matures. Correct. From TP-Link's perspective, are we getting to that point where AC is an agreed upon... Yeah. platform, an agreed upon ecosystem for products. Yeah, so AC within itself, it's, it's Wi-Fi Alliance certified. So not mm -hmm. just from us, but any of the laptops or other devices that you know folks buy on Newegg, they're part of the same ecosystem from a Wi-Fi standard. It's now, how do we make it better? And that's where TP-Link gotcha. really kind of elevates you know, the, the chipsets that are across the, the, the community now that are found uh, within all the solutions. So, you know, you can buy any product, including our products, and feel comfortable that you can get a great laptop, a great gaming system, you know, from PC that you end up building, and it's going to connect. Nice. But it's connecting smarter, more efficient now, well, and actually getting the coverage at home that's really going to drive our, so our new way customers to be really happy with what's going to happen. Let's, let's dig in a little deeper. What, so, what, what, what technologies does TP-Link provide that will take someone up sure. that, that tier yeah. for their home networking? So we, we, we've got the C7, and we've been selling that here to our new way customers, and we've sold a lot. We've got a lot of satisfied customers on that, and that's you know wave one, if you will, or generation one of AC. Mm -hmm. These next next three routers are the next evolution. We've been selling these now for a little over a year. Some of it's going to be a little bit newer, like this new one here, which is the Archer C2300. Okay. Now, this one has that Moomima we're talking about, which 
ironically, most people don't realize this, is, this, this technology is found inside of smartphones and yeah. tablets that they just bought. So a lot of our new eggers, if you will, or new eggies, if you will, um, <laughs> that are buying these new smartphones, they don't realize that they have MooMimo built in. Um, so they're going to get better coverage, better battery life. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to see better performance overall. So they don't realize that you know, these newer devices you know, need that better router to get that coverage inside of the home and performance. And especially with phones now, like nine, eight, nine hundred dollars, thousand dollar phones, you're, you're actually not getting exactly what you could be out of that yep. investment. Leave no tech unused. You leave yes. no tech unused. Now the good thing is, is that like the AC twenty three hundred starts off with a really unique feature called Range Boost. Mm. Um, now Range Boost is going to help not only the devices that are newer, but help out those older or legacy devices, if you will. How do I get better coverage for that? So the router yeah. is going to kind of get like an extendo arms, if you will, to kind of <laughs> go out and pull that into or the go coverage. Go gadget Wi-Fi. So, exactly. <laughs> go get your Wi-Fi would be a great, great thing to call from that. Um, so <laughs> range extender, uh, I'm sorry, uh, range boost itself kind of acts like that, you know, something that you would need a range extender for, but it's got it built in. So I don't need to do anything more. I don't have to add anything into the, uh, into the phones or tablets. And mm -hmm. that's typically where most customers are going to be using. Maybe they're still waiting for an upgrade, you know, mm -hmm. within their service provider that they have and getting that next phone. So it's kind of a neat thing. Um, to really help out. But we, we've also got some other things like uh, from some more of our uh, uh, tech here folk, you know, link mm -hmm. aggregation, which typically is found on business grade products, yeah. right? So you're tight, we're talking about uh, folks that are buying the NAS products that we sell here. Mm -hmm. How do I get faster than gig speeds? We're like, well, gig is fast, right? But how about <laughs> two gig, right? Right. So getting that connection from a NAS, for example, and then connecting it to uh, the uh, the Archer uh, C2300, you can use use two of the uh, gigabit ports on there and get that link aggregation. So we're talking about great streaming. So where am I going to put all that content, right? Yeah. So we sell great stuff here at Newegg with all these NAS boxes, and it's a it's a win win for for our customers that are looking for that whole home solution now for getting that content everywhere. And then airtime fairness, getting everything to work with, you know, no matter if you're bringing a new or an old device onto the network, everyone starts with the same starting line. Right. So before you start doing your prioritizations and everything, this works itself out. So that's where the, the 2300 comes into play. Oh, and by the way, we're talking about a 1.8 dual core 64-bit processor inside of this little guy. Wow. So it's got the firepower that our customers are looking for in this small ID, but everything else to really make that home just light up with Wi-Fi. Very, so. very cool. So, I mean, but we want to take it up a notch. We do. We do. <laughs> so, you know, because we love more antennas uh, as well, because like, we go from three to four, so we're going to get an extra lane of traffic now. So we're, now we're getting more on the five gig band, which is where mm -hmm. most of the devices are moving towards, because that's where better HD streaming. Yeah. I'm going to get less conflicts on a network now. And that's where the 3150V2 comes into play. So we've got four stream technology inside of this. It's a 1.4 dual core processor, so we're still in that dual core range with, yeah. with this. Um, it's not going to have the range boost that the, th uh, the 2300 has, but it will have link aggregation and airtime fairness as well. But these two are dual band products. So again, you kind of assess like how many devices do you have at home? Right. How many streams of 4K from Netflix and Hulu, YouTube, mm. if you will? You know, how do I make sure that everyone's gaming and no one's going to have any issues, right? right? So you kind of assess like what's the right router for you, but maybe we need to jump it up one more step too, Let's right? Let's do it. I All mean, right? it's right there. It, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of call this, you know, this is our premier router that we have on market, which is um, our Archer C5400. So it's tri-band. That's something that we haven't talked about. Now we're adding an additional five gig band. So think the 3150, but now we're adding a an extra bonus lane from here. Awesome. Um, and the great thing is, is that these are using a technology called Smart Connect as well. So we can, use, uh, we can just use one SSID, one password. So the routers itself will decide what is the right path for them. So is it going to be 2.4? Mm -hmm. In this case, which 5 gig? You don't have to worry about right. it because it's going to choose the right Wi-Fi band for you. So it's a really neat solution, and that's within all the routers, but even more so a great advantage for the 5400 since it's going to have three Wi-Fi bands to choose from. So this is... This is the router like I have at my at my house with, because Lucky. of all of those. Of course you would. Because I've got so many devices yeah. at home, Something right? like 40. He said 40 devices. 40 so. I mean, it's it's, it's you know, not that much. You know, more to come. <laughs> Sorry. 
well, the wife's going to see that now and be like, oh, more Sorry, devices coming. Sorry, wife at home. More Sorry, devices wife at home. to come. More devices come. Um, so lots of great stuff on this. So, you know, these are just great solutions just from a router perspective as well. Beautiful. And because you have all these devices connected at home, and I know today we're focusing on smart homes, so a lot of people at home might be thinking, well, what about all the cameras I have in my house? Are, are right. these secure? What about right. home care? Um, so how can these routers help you out with security? So this is a great thing because we uh, earlier in the year we started – taking a step back going, we we're making great hardware, but how do we get our customers secured? Not just from like a PC and mobile device, but how do I secure like the Roku's and you know, the smart TVs right. and the Xbox and the PlayStations? Mm -hmm. you know, how do I put you know, anything on those things to, to make sure that those are protected? So we've partnered with a company called Trend Micro, which you know, mm -hmm. is, a, is, is, a, is a customer here as well. Mm -hmm. um, so now having that here at the router level, we've got you know, award-winning uh, protection. So all devices are going to get the antivirus, the security, and well, then there's even more features And as I think well. we have some footage. I mean, we can take a look at this yeah, while, you're ex while you're explaining some of this. Yep. Because you know, there's obviously been a lot of news too about like IoT devices and whether mm -hmm. or not manufacturers are properly updating and supporting those. And so now it sounds like we can start maybe making the router more of the first layer of defense yeah. for those types of intrusions. Yeah, and we, we also have a way of of doing some unique stuff with the parental control piece, mm -hmm. being able to now, instead of managing, so we're looking at me having 40 devices. Do I want to manage all of those <laughs> separately? Or what we can no. do is we can group it into profiles and then we can right. have my own you know, devices that I have and then we can treat me with my uh, prioritizations and then also um, filtration that we end up using from there. So now I have the ability of saying, okay, am I a child, a preteen, teen? And there's filters that are all set up for that. Or if I can just go into an adult section. Right. Plus I have the customizations of doing app and websites where I can say, all right, I'm going to give you this type of prioritization, but maybe I don't want you going to this particular website or I don't want you using this particular app from there. Interesting. And, so, and then you can do time constraints. You can say like, I'm only going to give you a couple of hours right. in a day to use stuff. And you can treat the week and weekend. You can set bedtimes. So, and it's not everyone. It's not a, a holistic approach where everyone in the network gets the same prioritizations or time constraints. If you have a family with multiple kids, you can treat them all differently. Um, so everyone gets the right prioritization, the right access, all in the hands of your mobile app. So that's pretty cool. That's very cool. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. Can you talk to me about the TP-Link Deco M5 home Wi-Fi system? Yeah. Now, this is great because a lot of customers have been asking us going, I, I've been looking at routers and I wanted mm -hmm. to add range extenders, but the hard part is when you start to deploy this, you know, you have different Wi-Fi names or SSIDs, if yeah. you will. Mm -hmm. So in order for a lot of our uh, new uh, customers, if you will, if they're uh, connected to a router and they want to move across the house, the client device and the router doesn't disconnect and say, push you over to the next device. I was right? doing that from upstairs and downstairs. We were running two different routers. Right. And it was up to you to like, okay, well, switch to the upstairs network now. So that's yeah. where that's where our Deco solution really creates a, an amazing seamless roaming effect, right? So now I can move from one side of the house to the next. Um, and I don't have to worry about which band I'm on or which unit I'm talking to. So it feels like I'm at uh, an airport or a shopping mall, right? Yeah. Or a business, you know, a business area that has that business grade Wi-Fi from there. So lots of great coverage solutions from it, but it's also going to have that home care piece as well, which I think is a big deal. So in the palm of your hands, simple setup, really easy promo control piece from there. Uh, it's also going to have the antivirus as well. So it's going to keep everything at bay. Um, really just giving our customers that solution that they're going to fall in love with. Now, each unit does fift, up to 1,500 square feet. And the okay. three-pack that we're talking about today does up to 4,500 square wow. feet. Now, one better, you can add up to nine units in total. So if you have a massive <laughs> house, there you go. Thank you much. Um, <laughs> Good job, so New Egg Ninja. Th this, this unit itself, you know, we can add up to nine units at one home. And... That's the thing where, you know, you can place this in your basements. You can place this into other parts of the house where traditionally you may not have considered getting Wi-Fi or you had yeah. problems with. So as you paint your home with Wi-Fi, if you will, from, from a deco perspective, you know, this is really going to engulf everything that's necessary, getting great Wi-Fi, security, mm -hmm. everyone's connected. And if you're wanting to make sure everything's okay, you have it in your hand with a mobile app right. and you can control from anywhere in the world. 
Well, but, and so we have some footage, yeah. especially prioritizing, you know, online activity. We, we've got yeah, the app. Yeah, we, we've got some footage on that we can take a look at too. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was also just like the notion of a simpler setup. Yeah. Like having to, to string Ethernet to get a slave router up and running and then make sure that there weren't DNS conflicts or DHCP issues and then yeah. having to set all of that up myself mm -hmm. was like a long process of trial and error because I'm not a super networking guru. Yeah, guy, and, so. and, and that's where we wanted to do with Deco, which is a lot of customers that want a traditional router, they want to start playing with port forwarding and start doing a lot of yeah. you know, extra stuff. We still have that home care with a router solution. So the, the, the Archer line that we have with MooMimo, that's going to have that capability. But for customers that they want to come home, they still want great coverage. They still want prioritizations. They just want it to be simple, and they don't want to do any of the advanced solutions. Yeah. Deco is a great solution for, for them because they can get set up in a matter of minutes with their first solution, and then it'll actually tell them that you're too close <laughs> to the other units. So, I mean, in typical setups that we've had before with ranging centers, it just says, you've got great signal. DACA will say that you're too close, move it further away so it can get total coverage at your house then. So it's kind of amazing that it's actually that, you know, uh, yeah. uh, forward Aware. thinking of the, yeah. saying what's going on, yeah. That makes it really nice and easy. All right, so when talking about smart home integration, how would these integrate with If This Then That or Amazon Alexa? Yeah, so there's there's some pretty neat things that you know we've partnered with with Amazon, and you know we we've, we've done a little bit more with with Amazon because of the fact that we've got some really cool smart devices that we'll we'll talk about one of them here in a moment. Um, so we've partnered with them on Amazon compatible uh, devices. Um, so you have the ability of doing voice where you can understand you know like what's going on in your network. You know like if you want to turn your guest network on or check the network speeds from there. Uh, and then there's some pretty customizable things on the if, you know, if this and that, mm -hmm. where you can end up having when things come on or off the network, and you can do some neat things with uh, Google uh, uh, spreadsheets, if you will. So I've, I've done it myself where I notice when I lose signal or I get signals from there, depending on where I'm you know, walking around or turning things on and off. Um, and I put it into a spreadsheet then as well, and I get a notification. So you can do a lot of... A lot of creative stuff and then bringing a lot of things into at the same time. So, you know, a lot of customizations just from IFT and with Alexa. And there's a lot of customers that have been taking advantage of the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, that ecosystem has been blowing up. But um, we're talking smart home. And this is something that I was actually kind of surprised that consumers, I mean, you can slide that <laughs> box yeah. over. Yes. <laughs> uh, like, you know, the first time you saw, you see like a Wi Fi, uh, like connected light bulb, you're like, okay. Neat. Yeah. But this is really a product segment that has been kind of catching people. By sort of, my mom was showing off, like she's got a connected light bulb. And you're like, oh, and I can set it so that like it'll come on randomly when I'm traveling. And you're like, this is something that's really resonated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really great because you know, I set this up with my mom as well. So I did the same thing and <laughs> showed it off with her. And she's like, wait, I can do what with this? You know, I, can, I can change the colors. I can change the whites from that and kind of match everything from there. So setting it up on schedules is one of the best things about you know our smart devices. This particular one here, um, our LB130, is our multicolor bulb. So not only does it do dimming, I can change the tune of, of white colors, but I also have multicolors. So I can you know make, make it match like holiday colors, or if I'm looking at something for college football or you know something like that, I can have it match the colors that I want to from there. And again, I get that remote management, yeah. so I can I can do this. And I forgot to turn some things on when I was traveling last year. And I was able to, right from my phone, right. mm -hmm. on the other side of the world, <laughs> I was able to control all of our stuff. And you know, the, the app itself is totally free. There's no additional services. Plus, this pairs with the Alexa side that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. So we can do things with turning la these on and off, dimming, changing the colors just from our, from our voice. Yeah. And then we will end up having uh, IF technology. It's in beta right now. Oh. But it will go live very shortly, so we will end up having that, so customers can still kind of play around. So that's you don't have to do anything special; it's native, and we'll end up having some additional um, uh, um, you know, recipes, if you will, that'll uh, take this to the next level. So it's pretty cool stuff. Awesome! Right, Looking right. forward to it. Well, Michael, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks, yes, appreciate thank it. Please come me. back soon. Yep, definitely. <laughs> okay, so TP Link, we've got some deals. Uh, first mm -hmm. up, we have discounts on routers. Some great discounts uh, for the rest of the day. You can get $70 off Ooh. the Archer C3150 V2 and $50 off the Archer C2300 
if you're in the market for a new router, now's probably the time you want to push go on that. Indeed. And if you want secure, simple wireless for your entire house, <laughs> Jinx motion. <laughs> TP-Link is offering $80 off their Deco 3-pack Wi-Fi solution. So, again, this will cover your entire house in oh-so-sweet, delicious Wi-Fi. I went mesh. I won't go back. That's true. You did. I did. Um, if you're trying to light up your life, the TP-Link uh, TP is offering their LB130 Smart Wi-Fi LED bulb for $15 off. Perfect nice. if you're trying to change the look of your room, keep it fresh, mix it up. You know, we're, we're talking about, like, LED computers and stuff and how RGB you get really fickle and maybe I want a purple light in here today right now, you can do that. You, you can, can absolutely do that. Do that. So uh, check out those great deals on newegg.com slash newegg now. Up next, we have even more great smart home products. So stay tuned. to Newegg now. We have lots of goodies in front of us. Uh, we started the day off today with Zotac and took a look at their Compact Magna Z-Box, perfect for your new living room command center. Then we talked with TP-Link about the importance of upgrading your home Wi-Fi network and the potential of mesh networking. So let's say hypothetically, you have your command center PC, you have a strong home network, now it's time to upgrade your entire living space. Let's talk smart home. Okay, so if you're new to smart home tech, I'm a little less experienced. I think you're a little more experienced. I'm just with kind of doing obsessed with the it smart right home now. stuff than yeah. I am right now. <laughs> and, and I wouldn't worry. Most people are at some kind of early stage. These mm -hmm. technologies are, are technologies are all coming together. So we're going to try and provide you with an introduction to some of the different areas of the smart home world. Some of these connected mm -hmm. devices, IoT devices, and we'll give mm -hmm. you a few things to consider about each one. Some ideas for smart lighting, sensors, and how you can make your life a little easier and highlight some of the names in each category that you'll probably want to know. And if you already are a smart home expert, that's okay. You'll want to stay tuned because we'll, wanna, we'll be highlighting some limited time New Egg Now deals as we go. Um, in fact, as soon as the show's over today, I have two things already tabbed <laughs> open to purchase after this because the deals are that good. Sorry, Nate. Um, so we're going to, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, husband. Um, so we're going to have some great deals that you guys have to stay tuned for in home tech. So let's kick things off with the heart of your smart home system, uh, the hub. So mm -hmm. there are devices that connect all the different parts of your new smart home together. Mm -hmm. So we, like we were talking with Zotac, a PC command center can do some of these things. And mm -hmm. mobile devices, a lot of these things can be powered from your phone. But it's hubs that provide true core functionality for your smart home. Yeah, so one of these hubs is Samsung SmartThings. It's just one example. And it brings together a bunch of different home devices. Smart devices talk to one another via different protocols, kind of like the language the devices use to communicate. Um, this can be a little bit confusing if you're a novice, which is why a hub like Samsung SmartThings is helpful to bring it all together. Yeah. The hub can connect devices that use the Zigbee, Z-Wave, and IP protocols, which covers a really large portion of the smart device world. Yeah, and Samsung SmartThings in itself is mm -hmm. compatible with popular voice command devices mm -hmm. like Google Home mm -hmm. and Amazon Echo devices. This mm -hmm. is what we have right here. This is the Echo, and uh, let me reach, this is the Echo Dot. Uh -huh. And this is also where now you can connect your smart devices, empower them, control them through your voice. Yes, both the Echo and the Echo Dot uh, are speakers and voice command devices. The main difference being, well, the price, obviously, and the power <laughs> of the speaker. So if you want a speaker that's well suited for listening to music, you'll want to go with the Echo, while the Dot is smaller and better for non-music purposes. Yeah, so these Echo devices let you talk to your home, mm -hmm. basically. You can say things like, hey Alexa, turn on the lights. 
And I did that on purpose, so I hopefully just turned on someone's lights through their... If you already have an echo. <laughs> or their echo. I apologize. I hate when someone like does like you know, hot word commands for my phone and that turns on, it always bugs me. Um, so uh, you, you connect with your smart lights, colored mm -hmm. bulbs. You can change uh, all of these settings just by talking to your echo. So uh, you put the echo in your home and you talk to it. What else can you do with it? Uh, well, you could ask it for a weather report in the morning. Yeah, I, so mm -hmm. for voice command kind of stuff, I'm really big on timers and alarms. Okay. Like, especially, uh, I'll be cooking in the kitchen and I don't want to have to stop what I'm doing. I'll say an OKG okay, or a hey, Alexa, and get into, you know, give me a timer, give me this, give me an mm -hmm. alarm, something like that. I'm, I'm a really big fan of that. Yeah, Alexa can read your audiobooks too while you're working around the house. I like that a lot. So Alexa isn't old enough yet, but I'm sure she'll probably start asking these things to tell her jokes or read her stories. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably. And, and right now, my favorite Amazon uh, Amazon uh, skill is the Seinfeld trivia game. Oh, like, tell me about that. Of, I don't know anything about that. So it, like, it just you know, like, oh, so when they went to the Chinese restaurant, how long did they say it would take them to get a table? And you're like, uh, B, 15 minutes, obviously. That's hilarious. Um, no, it's, it's pretty great. <laughs> so again, researching some of those other skills and add-ons, those little app-lit type interactions are pretty epic right now. Very cool. All right, so now let's talk deals. As part of Newegg now through the end of the day and while supplies last, when you buy a second generation Amazon Echo for $99.99, you'll get a $30 Newegg gift card that you can use for a later purchase. Huzzah. Uh, Huzzah. So you get a powerful smart home voice command center along with a gift card, and that's enough to get you some additional smart devices to work with the Echo. For $30, you get like, I don't know, two bulbs or something. True story. And if you're interested in an Echo Dot, on the other hand, something mm -hmm. a little smaller, more about voice actions, probably a little less about listening to music, you can save $20 off the normal price, bringing it in at just just $29.99. It's a great deal. It's pretty cheap for mm. the functionality of a little smart speaker. I think that's a pretty solid option. I agree. It's compact, it's powerful, and it's $20 off today as an added bonus from Newegg if you buy this Echo Dot. You'll also get a $5 Newegg gift card. Ooh. So uh, you'll want to head over to Newegg.com slash Newegg now to view all the deals on uh, connected speakers. Awesome. So next up, let's talk a little bit about smart lighting. Yes. Smart lights are probably the easiest smart devices to understand, um, and they can provide a huge visual upgrade to your home. So Juan, why don't you take out your phone? Oh, that's right. And, uh, and start changing up the lights behind us. Guys, this is a live demo, so we have no idea if it's going to work. I'm super nervous but let's about this. go for it. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up right. the, this is the, uh, the Casa Smart Home app that I'm pulling up right now. Perfect. That's so I'll, I'll give you time to do that yes, uh, by just talking. So uh, <laughs> when you're selecting smart lighting <laughs> solutions, there's a few different ways that you can go. We actually have uh, some right here behind us. Like Juan mentioned, these are the Vijo Casa Smart LED bulbs. Oh, I got one working. Oh, okay, oh. so it's the one over your left shoulder. You see the dun, little dun, barrel dun, light dun, back dun. there? Yes. And oh. Purple. So it's a it's a Bluetooth app connecting yeah. directly to this light back here behind me, and I, I'll actually hold this up so you can do you can do your color wheel. I can control sort of the uh, the intensity of the light. Can mm -hmm. change a couple settings right there. I'm gonna go for green. Did I do? Oh, Beautiful. It's more wider, so yeah, if so you don't want to worry right about having a hub or mm -hmm. using voice controls, this is a really nice option. I don't know if you want. Oh, if you can turn good. that to camera so they can see it. Oh yeah, I, I don't know what camera. That I'm beautiful color for. wheel. And all my fingerprint smudges on my phone screen because it's live. <laughs> We're doing this live. But <laughs> Sorry. no, but it's 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 awesome that it worked. Um, so with these bulbs, which are available for nineteen dollars and ninety five cents, which is ten dollars off today as part of New Egg now. It couldn't be easier to use. You download the official app on your phone that Juan's showing off, connect to the bulbs via Bluetooth, and then you can turn them on and off and change the color all from your phone. Uh, so Juan, thank yeah, it's, you it's so working. much I got the other one working now too, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, so this is a nice option because you can buy just a single bulb or you can put them all throughout your house and you can control bulbs individually or all together with that app. So, uh, you know, it was talking, uh, we were prepping this segment, um, got to work pretty closely with the New Egg Ninjas on this one, mm -hmm. and uh, we're talking about smart bulbs for gaming applications. It was something yeah. I, was, I was hoping we could, uh, we could talk about for just a second, because uh, so for some of these setups, you know, you imagine you jump into Destiny 2 and you're going to pop down in Nessus and has that pale green sky, so you can change the lighting in your room to, you know, match that pale green. And it's just taking up your gaming experience, something even a bit more immersive. Yeah, and, and you can take that even further with some more advanced smart lighting kits. So the Philips Hue system, for yeah, example, exactly. is a very popular option. And if you're a DIY person, you can do some really amazing stuff with it. Like, for example, 
having your lights change color automatically depending on what game you launch on Steam. So I would I would connect it with Alien Isolation and have it be black. You're and dark. terrifying. You're you're a terrifying so person. Spooky. <laughs> so. Um, so we actually have some footage <laughs> of that Steam uh, link working out. Let's take a look at that footage. Yeah, let's check that out. So uh, what's going on here is that you can program specific colors and brightness levels to trigger depending on whether you start up Doom or Stardew Valley or PUBG or whatever it might be. You do this using the Philips Hue bulbs and hub and an app called Stringify, which connects products and services automatically. Stringify can connect to both your Steam account and the Philips Hue app and passes the information about what game you're playing to your light bulbs and bam, instant mood lighting. Wow. So, you know, Putting tying all the vendors of our show together, mm -hmm. you could have your living room with your Zotac Magnus PC. That would be pretty sweet. Yep. And if you're a new rig shopper, you probably aren't afraid of doing some home automation experimentation. Mm -hmm. yeah, Stringify is one solution. Uh, we've been talking about IFT, yeah. I F T T T, if mm -hmm. this then that. Mm -hmm. And I've been really excited because I started using that as a way to just do web services. Okay. You know, like so, if you want to share that photo on Instagram directly to Twitter without just sharing a link. Right. I F T T T was my solution. Yep. Watching them expand into hardware mm -hmm. has been really exciting. That these companies are working on these kinds of user accessible platforms. So you know, whatever you want to do, trigger different smart devices. Have your mm -hmm. lights flash when you get an email, for example, something like that. <laughs> like I, they're they're flashing them back here for me because I already put my phone down. Uh, I didn't know I was supposed to do that for part of the demo. So again, thank yep. you to the Newegg Ninjas. Yeah. It's good times. Um, one last thing worth talking about with smart lighting is the world <laughs> of smart plugs and outlets. So maybe you have a light that you really like already and you can't or don't want to switch to smart light bulbs. You can still upgrade your home with the addition of a smart outlet like the smart plug from Geek Bees, available today for $26.99 with the Newegg Now promo code or the Wemo smart plug, $10 off today. So these smart plugs just fit into an existing outlet, and then you control the power to that device that you're connecting them. You you know just fire mm -hmm. it up on your phone. So you can set up daily timers. Mm -hmm. uh, you can control them with your voice. Again, if you were to plug into some kind of system like Google Home or uh, Amazon's Alexa, mm -hmm. it's, it's simple, it's affordable, and this setup is now really straightforward. Yeah, so just to recap, for the lighting deals today as part of Newegg Now, that's $10 off the Vho Casa Bluetooth bulbs, $8 off the Smart Plug from Geek Bees, and $15 off the TP-Link Wi-Fi bulbs that we talked about during our earlier segment. Visit that New Egg Now page for all of today's deals. Okay, so I want to talk about cameras because mm -hmm. you actually have some experience with, with security cameras for your home. Yeah. Um, I'm currently using a solution that's really expensive that I don't like that I'm not going to mention. Um, <laughs> so for security okay. purposes or just for convenience, yep. having a smart camera connected around your home gives you eyes wherever, whenever you need them. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a handy add-on for this sort of smart home ecosystem. Yeah, I'm in love with my uh, smart camera solution, which we'll get into in just a second. But smart cameras, they often work with your phone, displaying footage via an app, or they can also work with a web interface, letting you check in on cameras at home while you're at work, for example, which I do all the time. <laughs> and so you also have things like um, the Amazon Echo Show Hub. Okay. So it's like your Amazon Echoes, but it has a display, and that display can show you video from these smart camera devices. You could say... Um, show me the baby's room, and on the screen it would show you the live feed coming from that camera. So let's take a look at one of the cameras we have here today as part of the new as part of Newegg Now that would work with an Echo Show, for example, the Easy Viz Mini 360 Smart Camera. Do we have? Is this? Oh yeah, was, I had here the box go. right in front of me, and there's like, that's not the camera. Uh, this box. has a ton of great features, and through <laughs> Newegg.com/Newegg Now, you can save forty dollars on this camera today. Plus, you'll get a five-dollar Newegg gift card. So let's talk about what this thing actually does. The EasyViz Mini 360 is a camera that shoots in 1920 by 1080. It has a built-in microphone and speaker, and it even has night vision, so you can use it in a dark area of your home. But the coolest thing of all is that it can rotate all around and provide you with a 360-degree view. And you can control that rotation via your phone. So I, you know, there are obviously a number of different things that you would, you would use a camera like this mm -hmm. for. This would have been a great solution when we were setting up the baby monitor. 
Yeah. Something it, like that. I think that would have been really in handy. In case you have like a crib jailbreak situation, you need to look all around that room. So we are at that point where like, is climbing. And you're like, I, I need a little bit more directional control than just the one right? baby monitor camera we have set up. Um, yeah, this is a really great indoor camera solution. Um, it's not weatherproof, but you could put it inside and say if you're trying to find your pets in your house, see what they're getting up to. You can watch them remotely and use the motion tracking on the camera to follow them and even talk to them through it. There's lots of cool stuff. So if you're interested in the Easy Viz camera, remember that it's $40 off today as a part of Newegg Now plus a $5 gift card. True story. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in connected cameras, uh, a bit more on the security side, you should take a look at the Netgear Arlo security system. This is what I have. This is what Trisha has. I, mean, she's, <laughs> I have the notes on this camera, and she's the one that's actually using it in her home right now. That's okay. So, Go uh, for it. While, while, this, while this is more of an indoor room monitoring system, again, sort of directional control over that, the Arlo is more of an outdoor solution, 100% wire-free, which is, which is actually pretty sweet. Which is beautiful. Uh, using magnetic yeah. mounts, you can clip it, stick it to the side of outside of your house, monitor front, backyard, mm -hmm. and the camera has rechargeable batteries so sure you does. don't even have to run a power cord to it. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I mean, it's weatherproof, so it can be indoor or outdoor. It records in 720p and has a 130 degree wide angle lens. So I only use one camera to take care of my entire downstairs plus my front door. Wow. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, you can get free cloud storage. This is probably the thing that most of my friends are jealous of. Free cloud storage and local backup of your recordings. Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not paying for that at all. And I have a lot of friends who say, you know, uh, that I'm paying monthly for my cloud storage for my backup. And for me, I just bought it once, and that's it. Yeah, I'm really bummed out about my more expensive solution that will give me screen grabs, but then it's oh. an additional subscription fee if you no, want to. No, anytime there's motion cloud. detected, I get a nice little video, and I no, get a I notified on my phone. I don't get um, that. So yeah, you can set up alerts if it detects motion <laughs> or sound. You can also adjust the sensitivity of the motion. Oh, nice. Which is a problem with some cameras if you have them outside and anytime a bug or a bird fly by, you right. get a notification, that could be very annoying. That's actually something that I fixed on my Arlo by adjusting the sensitivity, which is great. Can reenact that scene from sneakers where they have to move really slow to not set off <laughs> Maybe. the motion detector? May yeah. I have to try that now. Yeah, Robert we're going to have to do that film. this weekend as an experiment. But it works with the Echo, it works with smart things, with Stringify, with if this and that. So you can enable some really advanced stuff. So uh, talking about if this, then that enabled connected devices. Mm -hmm. uh, so if Arlo detects motion, you can set it to turn on your lights. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really handy security feature. Yep. Again, something we take for granted in just sort of outdoor lights in general. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice that we can uh, we have a digital equivalent of that. Um, if the batteries on the camera are low, you can have uh, the camera warn you that it's time yeah, to- Yeah, you get a phone notification if you set that set up. Set that back up. Mm -hmm. If you leave your house, the camera will know to enter a state of higher security mm -hmm. to activate certain features. Then when you return, it'll automatically disable that higher security level. Yep. You can also set up time-based features, uh, enable certain functions, like uh, you, you want to you wanna set it up for sundown activity. You know, So when mm -hmm. the sun sets, you can tell it to do something specific. Yeah, my cameras are more sensitive at night, and I love it. Um, so I mean, that's really what the smart home dream is all about, I think. You get some connected devices in your home, you customize them to fit your particular needs, and then you can start making your life easier and your home more secure. And today, you can get the Arlo system for $50 off, plus Woo! get that $20 Newegg gift card. Visit Newegg.com slash Newegg now for all the details. Okay, so you know we're talking about security and safety. There are a few more smart home devices here for us to talk about. Smart locks, doorbells, and other access control devices offer both security and convenience upgrade for your home. I'm actually in the market for a new, uh, for, or for a smart lock. I don't have one currently, but I would love one. So one example is a product called UltraLock. And I don't believe we have one. Uh, I don't today. think we no, have we one on not. the table. Uh, but UltraLock is a great way to make a door keyless. You can set it up to open with a number code, with your fingerprint. You can open it with your smartphone, or there's always a manual key backup if you prefer that. Um, and there's fantastic flexibility here because you can give house guests a code to unlock the door without worrying about having to leave them a spare key somewhere or having to leave one outside. It lets you go keyless if you're going for a jog. Say, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. The, the last Airbnb I stayed at, it was it was all about this like smart door lock codes. It was yep. pretty cool. Perfect for an Airbnb. Um, and maybe the coolest part of them all. Today, as a part of New Egg Now, you can save a whopping $150 on the Ultralock. 
you're getting it for basically half the normal price. So that's absolutely huge. huge. Um, I'm hoping that the deal lasts at least till the end of the show so I can get in on that. that <laughs> speaking of deals, sorry, Nate. Um, we have a couple more in this category we should mention. The next garage door opener is $95 off today. Mm -hmm. uh, when you use a promo code, we would totally feature it right now, but then that whole wall over there would disappear. No one wants that. <laughs> Newegg.com slash Newegg now. Garage door opener works with your smartphone. Again, plugging into Amazon Echo or Google Home, get notifications if your garage door is left open, which I've totally done. And thankfully, I've got cool neighbors that texted me that I was dumb uh. and left the house with the garage door open. And of course, you can connect it to your smart lights to have your lights turn on when you open your garage. Again, $95 off the next garage door opener through the end of today. Also, please let that deal last until the end of the show. Sorry, that would Nate. be great. It's Christmas time. Uh, and while we're talking about <laughs> doors and locks, the IC Bell Smart Doorbell is also worth a mention. And not just because it's about $50 off as part of Newegg now today. The IC Bell, thank you, you grabbed it? Yeah, I got it. Beautiful. Uh, Juan's going to oh so lovely model this for you. The IC Bell, it's a smart doorbell with a built-in camera. So it offers many of the features of security cameras that we discussed earlier. You can see who's at your door from anywhere, take snapshots when motion's triggered, or even speak to the person at your door via the built-in mic and speaker. I love that. So that's the IC Bell Smart Doorbell, about $50 off today. Visit the Newegg Now page and check out the full details. And there's so much more. <laughs> but wait. No, I'm sorry. I, I won't keep doing that. Uh, smart home stuff we want to show you. Uh, we're running out of time. <laughs> we started late. We're trying Ooh. to catch back up. Um, so let's briefly just kind of chew through the rest of these uh, rapid fire style. Uh, you ready? Jump in. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, um, let's go. So let's talk the Nest. This is a well-known name in the smart home world. And today we have two Nest products on sale. Nest Protect, which I have at home uh, and can vouch for. It's great. Is an advanced smoke and carbon monoxide de uh, detector. It can talk to you tell you what's wrong. Uh, it, earlier than other devices is what it claims. And uh, fortunately, I haven't had to test that out yet in my house, but it Very makes fortunate. me feel safe. You can get alerts on your phone even if you aren't home. So if you're traveling, you would know if there was a problem at your house, which is great for extra peace of mind. And today, when you buy it via the Newegg Now page, you can get a $30 Newegg gift card. JC, go. OK. Uh, also from Nest, the Thermostat <laughs> E, the latest version of their smart home thermostat. Control the temperature with your phone. Set up daily schedules. You don't have to waste energy, heating, or cooling an empty house. It's got a great LCD, which is not on right now because it's not connected to anything. But you can buy it today and get a $20 new egg gift card back to you, Trish. OK, this is my most recent smart home upgrade, the rain machine. This is a home irrigation control hub that automatically adjusts how much water your yard and plants need based on the actual weather, based on a seven-day forecast. Um, if you live in an area like we do where you can get fined if you water your lawn on a day when it rains, this is especially helpful. Uh, if you have a home and a yard that needs watering, this can save you money. It can help save water. Um, and if you buy the rain machine system today, you can save $50. All right, Juan, last one, go. Okay. Uh, last but not least, we have the Sentry All-in-One Home Monitoring Solution. This has a 1080p display that shows you the weather and the time, mm -hmm. and it does it does a lot more. Sentry really combines a lot of the functionality of mm -hmm. other devices. Uh, so the devices we've talked about today, it has a camera you can use as a monitor. It monitors your humidity, your home vital signs, and it keeps track of changes to your network and your environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, connecting to other numerous smart devices, smart lights, uh, access to notifications, touchscreen controls, mm -hmm. all in one convenient package, through the end of the day, you can save $81. Uh, very specific there, $81, <laughs> and get it for less than half of its usual price. Bam. That's great. All right, so let's bring it, let's bring it all home, OK? Whew. So picture this. <laughs> You're in your gaming room I'm using your Zotac room. Magnus PC to play Cuphead. This is true. Let's say. The Cuphead. lights in your room have mm -hmm. all automatically switched to bright, cheerful colors to match that Cuphead style. Excellent. Because of your TP-Link networking uh, devices, all of your signals are strong and steady. Now, nice. downstairs, like someone rings your <gasps> smart doorbell. You get. You can view who's at the door on your phone and even speak to them. And it's your friend. So you let them, you give them a code to your smart Excellent. door lock, like and that. they let themselves in. Now you guys can play co-op Cuphead without even ever having to leave your gaming chair. You're living the dream. Living the dream. Living the smart home dream. We've only scratched the surface 
of what smart home devices can do for you today. And this is a sector that's growing too. So what I like is investing in this stuff now. People are building upon these standards. So yeah. it's easy to kind of keep fleshing things out. Visit Newegg.com slash Newegg now. Check out all the smart home products available for special prices today. There's even more beyond what we've had a chance to highlight here. We had some other things we were going to talk about, but we've got to rein this in. So we want to thank Zotac, <laughs> TP-Link, and all of the other partners featured on today's show. Nest, Netgear, Amazon Echo, so many more, too many to mention them all. Indeed. So for more smart home products, visit Newegg.com slash smart home. Mm -hmm. And remember to check out all of today's deals on Newegg.com slash Newegg now. We will be back next week with Gigabyte and our holiday gift picks, so don't miss it. This has been Newegg Now, and now you know. Bye. Bam.